Light top, beat the flick of my wrist You stalking that girl, she be kissing my tip You hating in the comments, I'm busy getting rich Young, I could miss, I keep cooking these hits ASMR Hey man Say man It's your boy Ra Back at it one more time with another bang Everybody getting canceled nowadays You can't crack no jokes Everybody Well not everybody People getting smacked in the face over jokes And we here right now with Bill Burr White versus black athletes and Hitler Now I watched Bill Burr Yesterday, literally, and I found my favorite stand up from him. But we here again, so we're gonna see what he's talking about. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. This your new favorite YouTube channel. So vibe with me, stay hydrated, smoke the devil's lettuce, and then just vibe with your with your boy. All right. We got white versus black athletes and Hitler. I don't know how this is about to happen, how this is about to go, but it's gonna be lit. Let me know your top three comedians of all time. Let me know where you're tuned in from, represent. And if you rock with that music at the beginning, that's my music. The first link in the description got all my music, all platforms. Go stream that. Show some love. Hope y'all doing good and staying safe. See what, what my boy Bill talking about, Double B. It's just like what's entertainment for me now, you know? I like that Jimmy the Greek moment that happened. People in the his, stands. Hey, his drip is upgrading. That's just like what's entertainment for me now, you know? I like that Jimmy the Greek moment that happens in sports, you know? Like once every four or five years, you know, that, like some 50, 55-year-old white dude tries to explain why black people are kicking the shit out of white people in practically every major sport, you know? And it always goes down the same way, right? There's always like three white dudes and the one white dude in the middle, he's always like the guy with like the theory. You know, he's always like, okay, you know, it seems these, uh, these African-American athletes, they, uh, they seem to have this, uh, this quick twitch uh, muscle fiber, you know, there's a uh, slow twitch and there's uh, this quick twitch. And the second the dude says that, like the other two white dudes start like sliding out of frame, like, okay, this guy's getting fired and I'm not gonna be part of this highlight. Nice knowing you, Nick. Keep that seat warm, right? And the dude in the middle, he's just like hell bent on getting fired. You know, he's just, he starts like bringing up slavery. And evidently they were breeding the strongest man with the strongest woman and that quick twitch. <laughs> and literally 20 minutes later, that dude's on TV, he's like fired, right? He's crying, his family's standing there. And there he's got like a box of shit from his desk with like an Emmy sticking out. He's like, I don't know what I said. Uh -huh. I was just talking about the quick twitch and the slow twitch. And I was, was uh -huh. just trying to make a point. Hey, 2022 is way worse, Bill. No, I love that. I love seeing people mess up their careers like that. <laughs> it's just funny to me. Plus, I got to admit, as a white dude, on some level, I have to believe in that theory because it's like, are white dudes that bad at basketball? <laughs> I can't even watch the NBA anymore, man. It's like every highlight, the white dude's like that, the black dude has like his nuts in his face. Fucking crap! <laughs> <laughs> just sitting at home like, for the love of God, tackle the guy. <laughs> Jeez, See, I go splitter. Get out of the way. <laughs> you ever get tired of those two nuts flying over your head? <laughs> you know you're going to be on Sports Center. Just get out of the way. Hey, real quick, real quick, bro. Am I the only one that misses Sports Center top tens? I ain't never watched four episodes of Sports Center, but my boy Stuart Scott, rest in peace. I used to love the top ten. What happened to that? Did YouTube ruin it? I don't know. I miss it. Dude, I'm telling you, there's got to be something to that theory. I saw this show one time on Runaway Slaves. It was one of the most amazing programs oh, I've ever shit. seen in my life. Dude, when you ran away as a slave, you just didn't run to the end of the driveway and be like, eh, fuck that job, just start walking. <laughs> oh, no, bro. Dude, you had to, like, run through whole states. There's dogs chasing you, you're hurtling shit, you're swimming. Those were the first fucking triathletes. Hey, there was wilding. nobody helping him out. There was no dude on the side of the road like, come on, man, two more states, you're in Ohio. Suck it up, you're looking good, looking good. He's funny, bro. Bill Burr is hey, hilarious. Dude, you are on your own. Is it any wonder? 250, 300 years of that shit, and then I'm going to D you up in gym class? It ain't happening. <laughs> I got hundreds of years of alcoholics. I got like half a liver, you know what I mean? It's just... <laughs> you know what's funny to me about that stuff? You can't even like... You know, I obviously know that, that theory is crazy, but it's just like you can't even bring up how well black people do, are doing in sports. Everybody gets all weird about it, which I don't understand because it's like a compliment, you know? Like, feel how weird it is right now. You know, I just brought that shit up. All of a sudden, 
I'm saying something good, right? I said, I saw a coach get in trouble for that shit. Like, his team was like 0-6 or something. They just couldn't win. And every week, the press was just getting on him more and more and more, right? And the dude, he was just like flustered. He had like a moment of honesty. They were like, why can't you guys win a game? He's like, oh, you know, I don't know, the offense isn't getting it done. You know, defense, you know, they're too slow. And they just run up. Tell him, we got to get some more black guys in this team. But I'm telling you, just, <laughs> and immediately, everybody's like, what? 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 <laughs> Everyone started freaking out like they had no idea what this dude was talking about. It's like, are you watching Sports Center? Or do you Bring Sports the Center back. I love the hundred meter dash, right? There's always, there's always like, like, like nine black dudes and that, that one token white guy in like lane eight. And I'm just sitting there going, "Come on, man, one time, just one time, just, just win the bronze, just do what you got to do." And the white dude always stays with him to like the first turn, then he like fucking blows out his hammy. Those other eight black dudes are like. <laughs> Where's that white dude the next Olympics? He's like up in the broadcast booth. His career's over. He's, where he's like a commentator. Yeah, it's going to be a great race. Still can't feel my fucking toes, but I'm telling you. Uh -huh. No, I don't get it. It's like a compliment. We're saying you, you, you're fast. That's a good thing, right? People start all freaking out. Oh, you're acting like that's all we can do. You're saying we can't be scientists. No, we're not. All we're saying is if there was a race through the microscopes, you fuckers would win. <laughs> <laughs> just saying that you're fast you get there first you laugh hey we athletic as hell shout out to the gang that code would be flapping in the wind I'd get there like three minutes later all cramped up what are you looking at bacteria no you go first you just go first Jesus Christ it was a bobo the guy ran by a bobo in street shoes I've never seen that before in my life his facial expressions is hilarious no I, I get into those arguments all the time all the time Friends of mine will be like, well, how come any time a black athlete does something, they say it's an athletic move. Any time a white athlete does it, they say it's an intelligent move. And it's like, well, f fair enough, man. It just, just depends on what you're doing. You know what I mean? It's like, you know, if you read a defense, white or black, that's an intelligent move, right? <laughs> if you take off from the foul line, jump over nine other dudes and throw the shit down, those other nine guys aren't standing there like, fuck, why didn't I think of that shit? Here I am dribbling around, guys. I, that's some superhero shit. Like a flapping in the wind with a big S on your chest. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, that, that's the funny thing about Hitler. Hey, what? Not everybody can do that, gang. Just let me finish. Let, let me work my way. <laughs> let me work my way through this idea. <laughs> no, that's my, my favorite. My favorite sports clip is that Jesse Owens shit. Oh, I just shit. love it because. Wait, what? How do we go from hooping to Hitler? I missed that. The funny thing about Hitler. Just let me finish. Let, let me work my way. Let me work my way through this idea. No, that's my, my favorite. My favorite sports clip is that Jesse Owens shit. I just love it because their whole angle was fucked up. He made Hitler leave in like the third quarter, right? He's putting down his number one finger, just fucking walking out of the stadium. Jesus Christ. Their whole thing was like, we are going to create a superior race. It's like, dude, I think we accidentally already did that. <laughs> now we sent a select group of people to the gym every day for a couple hundred years. It's paying dividends. They're fucking dunking on us every day. <laughs> Bill. Dude, how quiet was that limo ride home with Hitler? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know he was talking crazy shit when they were on the way there. They were all amped up. They are going to dominate Sieg Heil. Just going on. Bill. That whole ride home, they're just sitting there all quiet. You're sitting next to an even angrier than usual Adolf Hitler. Uh, you can't Trying say that, Bill. Small talk like, hey, it is one nice day, isn't it? You know? Nice <laughs> hey, bro. I, I rock with bro every time. I'm like, uh, you cannot say that, bro. It's just crazy the times we live in. Hey, bruh. Damn, how many white players can y'all name in the NBA right now? Or white boxers that are champions? What? It's crazy. That's crazy to think about. And I... I uh, that boy Larry Barrett was different. Luka Doncic different. 
Who else? Pages to Yakovich. I don't even know if he is white. Um, what? The Klitsch goes. I'm trying to think, bro. Tyson Fury is a beast. All right. But damn. Watching all these damn Larry Bird reactions, it got me thinking, like, bro, the ratio is crazy. But it's because uh, Bill Burr, bro. Bill Burr is crazy, bro. He always say some shit that just make me be like, did he just say that? And I ain't no cancel culture type of individual, bro. Like, I'm just not. I just think the shit's hilarious when people say crazy shit. And I just want to see the aftermath and see if they survive what they said. And it seems like Bill Burr did. So, salute, kudos. Other than that, man, fire ass video. Watch my Bill Burr playlist. Y'all gonna see me lose my shit because he's crazy. All right. Other than that, man, I played some music at the beginning that was me. I'm gonna play some music at the end. It's gonna be me. It's gonna be fire. If you rock with it, all the links in the description got my music. If y'all tired of looking dusty and y'all wanna upgrade y'all drip, make sure y'all check out the OnlyFam clothing line. You will not regret it. Buy your grandma some. By your grandpa, some, your mommy, your daddy, your sister, your brother, your cousin. Everybody get dripped out in the OnlyFam merch. I hope y'all doing good and staying safe. And uh, I got a lot of love for y'all, man. So make sure y'all keep getting that motherfucking cheddar, man. I'll see y'all on the next one. It's your boy Ra, and we out. Yeah, dig! Let me tell you about some real shit And hey, let me tell you about some ill shit I mean we struggle for the milk kit Only my day was around me With them this empire we built it No feelings like Mr. Carter said